Welcome to EOS Locate for ArcGIS Collector. This video series will walk you through the steps required to perform your Locate workflow. In this video, we will teach you the setting definitions for configuration on Collector and EOS Locate, which is an interface within EOS Tools Pro. Please note that currently the EOS Locate solution is only available on iOS with ArcGIS Collector. As an important note, since the EOS Locate interface can only be activated by Collector, the EOS Locate settings will have to be configured once Collector requests a Locate measurement for the first time. We will first configure Collector and then call EOS Locate from Collector to do the initial settings. In ArcGIS Collector, select your maps and tap on the Locate layer you created. If you haven't created your layer, please refer back to our website or YouTube channel for the video on how to do so. This will automatically launch the EOS Locate interface. Start on the EOS Locate page within EOS Tools Pro. In the EOS Locate measurement section, tap the Settings tab. The Settings tab is represented by a crossed wrench and screwdriver icon. We will go through each of these settings to explain their meanings. The default parameter values allow for a fully automated process, which is triggered by the single push of a button on the VLOC3 Pro. Now we will go through the setting definitions. Locator Accessory. This setting is used to select the locator device you want to use. The information is saved within the app. Your locator must be Bluetooth paired to your iOS device for it to appear on the list. As a default, the most recently used locator will automatically be selected next time you use the software. Distance Units. This setting is used to configure the unit of measurement used to measure the distance from the user's current GNSS position to his last locate point. You can select meters or feet. The default unit is meters. GNSS antenna height. This is the total height of the aero antenna above ground. If accurate elevation is required, this height should be measured. The default value is zero meters. As an important note, when using EOS Locate, the antenna height entered in collector is not used. Therefore, this value must be set in EOS Locate if precise elevation is required. GNSS Log Delay This setting configures when the GNSS point should be acquired by EOS Locate after the locate measurement is received. Possible choices are manual or automatic, with an optional delay. This automatic setting is the default, with a default 5 second delay. GNSS Average Positions this sets the number of positions, from 1 to 60, that will be averaged for the GNSS point. The default is 5 positions. Transfer Method to Collector. This setting allows you to define how the measurements are transferred to Collector after the Locate and the GNSS measurements are both acquired. The choices are Manually or Automatically Send, with an optional delay. When you select Send Manually, you will have to tap the Send button to transfer the Locate measurement to Collector. When you select Automatically Send, our measurements will automatically be transferred to Collector once the GNSS point has been recorded. Automatically Send is the default setting. Automatically Send Delay. This is an optional delay in seconds before the measurement is automatically transferred to Collector. This delay can be useful if you wish to take a quick look at your measurements before it is automatically sent to Collector. The default delay is 3 seconds. Collector Auto Submit This feature instructs Collector on how to submit or sync the locate point to ArcGIS Online once it is received from EOS Locate. Possible values are yes or no. If you select yes, Collector Auto Submits the point. If you select No, you will have to tap on the Submit button in Collector to manually submit the point. The default is set to Yes for automatic submission. And finally, Distance from Last Point Alarm. This setting is useful when you want to perform a locate measurement at regular distance intervals. Here's how it works. The range between the field worker's current GNSS location and the previous locate point is constantly monitored by EOS Locate. This value is displayed in the Distance from Last Log field of the main EOS Locate menu. Once the user exceeds a distance threshold that you configure, 
the distance will turn from black to red, and an audible alarm, if set, will sound. Both stimuli indicate that the field worker should stop and collect another point in order to comply with your desired data collection workflow. To configure this parameter, set up the following fields. Range 0.00 to 99.99. This represents the distance in meters or feet based on the distance unit setting for the alarm. The default range value is zero, disabled. Possible values for the audible alarm settings are no sound, this is the default setting. Continuous, an audible tone of your choice every second. Or beep once, a single audible tone at the moment the distance threshold is exceeded. A selection of tones is available for the continuous and beep once modes. Nice job, you've made it through all of the settings. In the next video, you will learn how to locate an underground asset and perform your very first locate measurement. You will find a complete manual on how to set up EOS Locate with your kit. If you have any additional questions, please contact technical support on the EOS website.